need to know this. The Obama administration is preparing to sell America out to a handful of private corporations. Well, more than a handful, but anyhow, that's because right now President Obama is preparing to push through the largest trade deal in human history, the Trans-Pacific Partnership, or, its, or as it's more commonly known, the TPP. If approved, the TPP would create a whole new set of rules regulating the economies of 12 countries, the red countries seen here, on four different continents bordering the Pacific Ocean. These rules cover everything from pharmaceuticals to digital copyright law and could permanently change the way everyday Americans and people all over the world interact with the global economy. So if you think the Obama administration, you, you would think as a result of this, that the Obama administration would want to keep the public as up to date as possible on such a big trade deal, right? Wrong. The United States has negotiated the TPP almost entirely in secret with the help of about 600 private corporations. Most of what we know about it actually comes from leaked documents. And those documents paint a pretty scary picture. Now, thanks to WikiLeaks, we have an even better idea of just how dangerous the TPP really is. Earlier today, WikiLeaks released a full draft of the treaty's intellectual property rights chapter. The 95-page document proves what many people have long suspected, that the TPP isn't so much a free, tr a free trade deal as, as it is a giant giveaway to monster transnational corporations. According to WikiLeaks, the TPP would allow private foreign corporations to sue countries over regulations that those corporations don't like. It would allow them to expand the monopoly powers of pharmaceutical patents. And it would also give corporations the go-ahead to start blocking websites accused of violating copyright law. The documents also show that the Obama administration, on behalf of the United States, has been pushing for some of the TPP's harshest intellectual property laws. To put it bluntly, the TPP would sacrifice national sovereignty, public health, and internet freedom, all in the name of helping private corporations keep their CEOs' wallets fat and their shareholders happy. That's why the TPP is so much more dangerous than normal trade deals like NAFTA or CAFTA. Not only does it reward companies that send jobs overseas and gut regulations that keep big businesses in check, it also increases corporate control over pretty much every part of how you and I interact with the world and makes it near impossible for countries to fight back against giant corporations. As Julian Assange said about the leaked documents, if instituted, the TPP's intellectual property regime would trample over individual rights and free expression, as well as ride roughshod over the intellectual and creative commons. If you read, write, publish, think, listen, dance, sing, or invent, if you farm or consume food, if you're ill now or one, one day might be ill, the TPP has you in its crosshairs. Greetings, citizens of the world. We are anonymous. It has come to our attention that the TPP is set to fast track in the U.S. Senate very soon. We are actively engaged in preventing this event. If we should fail, and the Trans-Pacific Partnership as well as the Transatlantic Free Trade Agreement should be put into place, the corporate and police state control over our daily lives will increase. This is not just a matter of privacy and intellectual property. As we have looked at this, we also see the chance that free speech itself will be silenced. Speech is not just standing up and making noise, and it certainly isn't money spent in an election or through lobbying. Speech and expression require not only a speaker and an audience, but also a message. It's not about making a point for sending a message. It's about full-on communication. These trade agreements have language written into them that will destroy our means and methods of communication effectively silencing us. If we are silenced, if we cannot associate, and as we already have all of those communications monitored and recorded then we have no true freedom left. We merely have privileges that they allow us. To this, do not consent. Checkpoints across the United States are increasing. The rules governing government inspections are loosening around the borders. There is no effective oversight by the judicial or legislative branches. And these rights and liberties for which we fight are not ours for being Americans. They are human rights that all citizens of the world retain and claim. If we should fail in stopping the TPP, 
we need to be ready for action, even if they are intentionally drawing us out from behind our keyboards and into the streets. As our internet tools are taken away from us, we must have other methods. Protest alone may only slow down their efforts. Hacking alone may only slow down their efforts. But we have the resources, the human capital, the motivation, the passion, and the drive to remain free. If the police state actions take away our freedoms it is because we let them. We will not allow this. Our freedoms are ours, and not assailable for them to take away. I urge you that, when the time comes, to take to the streets and hack the planet. Until then, communicate, associate and don't allow the lack of communication technology or the monitoring of our person's papers and effects stop you from asserting your natural liberty. We are anonymous, united as one, divided by zero. In other words, it puts the rights of profit-driven businesses over the rights of human beings and the governments that we form to protect ourselves. No wonder then that the Obama administration doesn't even want Congress to take a closer look at the TPP. To push the U.S. into the proposed treaty as soon as possible, the president is trying to use a special legislative trick called fast-tracking that would prevent lawmakers from making any amendments to the TPP. Instead, the treaty would be sent right to the floor where it would only have to pass a simple majority vote. Sounds like a done deal, right?